Kia ora, ko dia ho. Hana mai, welcome to today's five minute maker space. Today we're going to be making a simple water bottle fountain. So, of course, we're going to need a plastic bottle, going to need something to cut with. Bendy straw is really important. We've got some hot glue and we've got a balloon. You'll need some water and I'm actually popping some food colouring into mine just to show what's going to happen. So the first thing we need to do is to make a hole in our bottle that's going to fit the, the straw in it. So I'm just going to use a craft knife here, Stanley knife. You might need an adult to help and you need to make that hole approximately two thirds of the way down the bottle. Just gonna make that slightly bigger. And just make sure you can pop the straw in. And what we'll do is we're going to put some of the hot glue around the outside just to make a nice tight seal. The other tricky thing about this activity will be blowing up the balloon and popping it on top of here because that is what is going to cause the pressure to push down and push the water, continue to push the water out when it gets down below the level of the spray. So we're just going to have to wait for that to, to dry a little bit more. So in the meantime, take some water I'm going to pop a little bit of food colouring in there. Please be careful when using any food colouring of course, because it does stain almost everything. So I'll give that a little bit of a stir. So a little bit longer for that to dry. to do we'll slowly start pouring the water into our bottle Just angle that up a little bit so it doesn't come out just yet. It looks like we've just got a reasonable seal there, so that's great. Set that aside, so we've got our container here. And now we're going to blow up our balloon and place it on top of the bottle. You may need an adult to help. Hopefully I didn't go too red in the first two minutes. Now we'll just, because this might start working straight away, we'll just angle our straw down. So that means the water's got somewhere to go. And as quickly as we can, get the top over there. And there, you will see it working straight away. So the air from the balloon is pushing down into the bottle and displacing that and causing the water to come out. What you could also do is add a few more straws in length and make your fountain even bigger. And you'll see that it continues to push down so that the water is still coming out despite it being right down at the bottom of the the bottle.
and there it's completely drained out. And now all the air is going to, is now coming out the bottle and out the straw as well. Hope you enjoyed today's activity. Thanks for joining us. Kakite.